Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here, and I want to talk about this topic here, the long-term outlook for gold. So we're not talking about from a trading perspective, but really from an investment perspective. So let's take a look. There's really two reasons why I believe the gold is going to go much, much higher over the long run. So by long run, I mean, let's say three months to years, okay? And so these are the two factors that affect the price of gold over the long run. We don't have to worry about seasonality. We don't have to worry about wedding season. Um, those are going to always be there, and those are going to enable us to time the market exquisitely. But uh, from the long run trend perspective, these are the two factors that dominate the price of gold. So let's take a look at them. First of all, this is what's called the 10-year break-even inflation rate. Okay, so we're all familiar with the consumer price index or the producer price index, uh, and those are calculated on a monthly basis and tell us what short-term inflation is. And that's, uh, that's good, but they're based on surveys. I like real-time data that's based on reality. The CPI and the PPI, they're good, but this is better. So what this does is it actually goes into the market and it calculates what the inflation rate that the market thinks on a minute to minute basis. Okay, this is actually can be calculated on a minute to minute basis. Now, I look at it on a daily basis. I don't look at it minute to minute. But what you can see is that the break even inflation rate has skyrocketed since the COVID crisis. It's still not up to the levels that we were uh, last year, which were up around 2%. Uh, you can see we peaked out there in 2018 in the middle of the chart at about 2.2%. Right now, we're at just uh, about 1.7%, 1.75%. But the trend is sharply higher for what the market expects inflation is going to be. Now, you may look around and say, yeah, but it's pretty muted right now. But you got to realize that the market is looking at what the effect is going to be of the massive monetary and fiscal stimulus that's going on right now as a reaction to COVID. So they're projecting out into the future. Well, the price of gold is based on the psychology of what people think inflation's going to be, not what it has been. That's why this particular chart here, uh, it's certainly one of my super tricky indicators, but this is one of the things that you look at when you analyze the long-term outlook for gold. And right now, this chart is screaming higher and therefore suggesting much higher inflation in the future and therefore much higher prices of gold. This is a chart that I use in every week's issue of Wall Street Winners. It's really good for looking at the short term of gold. Uh, but let's take a quick look at it. The top indicator in blue is Euro versus US, the foreign exchange. And down at the bottom, the green line, that's US versus Yen. And I've position them so that if they go up, it's bullish for gold. And if it goes down, <coughs> excuse me, it's bearish for gold. So uh, going back to May, you can see the top one bottomed out actually back in, in March and has been in a significant bull run. In other words, the euro is gaining against the dollar uh, consistently. It's, a, it's not the biggest bull market I've ever seen, but it is a bull market showing that the U.S. is under pressure. Same thing in the bottom chart there. End of March, the yen bottom, and we've been in a pretty consistent bull market ever since. So we have to assume that the bear market on the dollar is going to continue. Bull market in currencies, bear market in dollar is going to, con is going to continue. Well, if the dollar goes down, that's bullish for gold. Because one of the best ways to look at gold is that it is an alternative currency. So the same things that affect Euro US or US Yen or dollar CAD or whatever affect the price of gold. So interest rates affect it 
and also trade flows, capital flows, etc. But think of it as an alternative currency and you get a good idea of why if other currencies are strong, the dollar will be strong as well. Now take a look at the middle panel. That's the CRB index. And this is an index of raw materials. So soybeans, oil, corn, live cattle are all in this particular index. Now the reason why the CRB is important to the price of gold is because commodity prices lead inflation. Okay, it's a leading indicator of inflation. So if you want to know what inflation is going to be, one of the indicators you look at is the CRB index. Well, it bottomed out in April, and it's been in a consistent bull market. It's up like 30% since April alone. And so that's a strong indication that we're going to see higher inflation down the road. And as we just explained, inflation is a major long-term impact on the price of gold. Short-term, not much. Long-term, big time. Currency prices, very powerful for the short run and the long run. So all, all of these, if we look at it from a long-term perspective, all of them are bullish gold. This is one of my super tricky indicators that I reveal only to a few people. And this is a chart. Uh, the gold part is the price of gold. And the green chart is of the tips. Well, what are the tips? Tips is Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. And this is an, uh, an ETF which buys tips. So tips are different than bonds, okay? But they're a type of bond, but they're a very special type of bond. You see, a normal bond, corporate bond, treasury bond, municipal bond, if interest rates go down, the bond goes up, okay? And that's it. That's the only thing that affects it. If interest rates go down, the bond goes up. If interest rates go up, the bond goes down. TIPS, the name is Treasury Inflation Protected. So here, there are two things that affect the price of a TIP. Interest rates and the rate of inflation. So if interest rates go down, and so if interest, we know what happens if, the, what happens if interest rates. But here, if inflation goes up, TIPS go up. If inflation goes down, tips go down. But now we have two things. So you could have both of them bullish, both of them bearish, one bullish and one bearish. So it's a little bit more complicated to analyze the tips because you're analyzing two things, not just one thing, which is interest rates. As you can see, a massive bull market over the last two years in tips. And you can see the COVID crisis there hammered it because they thought inflation was going to go down, but it came right back up and really took off again in June. Now, you can also see the correlation between tips and gold is extremely high. And notice that the tips are moving higher. Even as gold is moving lower as we speak, tips are moving higher and therefore is, uh, is bullish for gold. And because it includes both inflation and interest rates, it really gives you an idea of what real interest rates are, which are one of the most powerful impacts on the price of gold. And real interest rates are the interest rate minus inflation. And guess what? That's tips, right? In interest rates minus inflation. That's really what it is. So as this goes up, it's a powerful, powerful impact on the price of gold. And it's a major bull market. And we showed you what was happening with inflation is just probably going to keep on going up. So look for tips to go up as well. So the long term outlook based on inflation, interest rates, real interest rates and other currencies, every single factor is bullish right now. And that means that the price of gold is over the long run going to move up as well. So the market never goes in a straight line. So there'll be dips in the price of gold. As I'm recording this, there's a dip. You can see it on the chart there. But that just gives us another buying opportunity to buy it at a cheaper price. So this is not a bad thing at all. So many, many different strategies 
to uh, on when to enter, when to exit. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, take a look at our Wall Street Winners newsletter uh, where we trade gold there uh, as a way of keeping up on top of it and knowing when to buy it, when to take profits, when to buy it, when to take profits, and so on and so forth. Take, take a look at that, and that would be, I think, very useful to you. All right, everybody, thanks very much. We will talk to you later.